Now, when you hear the words missing children, that can be really intimidating for young kids. Yet we want them to know about stranger danger and we want them to know that there is a threat. Darcy Walker of Core Parenting has some advice and she's here to tell us, you know, how we can talk to our kids about this sensitive and really, Darcy, what's a scary subject. Where do you start? It is so scary. I think the first thing to remember is that stranger danger is important to teach our kids, but it's not the most pressing um, concerned. It's statistically not the most common way that a child is in danger. So we're, a lot of times um, we're talking about empowering them to stand up to people in their lives who they know, whether they're adult that they don't know or that they do know, really empowering their voice. One of your tips is to not give mixed messages. Can you kind of give an example of what that would be, a mixed sure, message? Sure. A lot of times we say, don't talk to strangers, don't talk to strangers, and we think that we're empowering our kids from a really young age in this. And then we go to the grocery store and the grocery clerk asks them their name and our child doesn't want to and respond. And they don't look at them. <laughs> and we say, tell them your name, yeah. right? And so we encourage our kids to talk to strangers all the time, kind of to perform to them, um, <laughs> instead of really valuing their ability to, to not talk to somebody that they don't know or that they don't like. How do you deliver the message that yes, adults deserve respect mm -hmm. and have authority, but maybe sometimes they right. can buck that authority and say, mm -hmm. you know, no, they're not a good person. Exactly. We talk a lot about listening to the instincts in our bodies, right? And so if I don't want to talk to somebody, I don't have to talk to them. And I can be kind and respectful in that, but it's okay to just walk away or it's okay to say, I don't feel like talking right now and really empowering our kids to use those words and to listen to their bodies above um, performing for the adult. Do kids ask a lot, well, how do I know who's safe, mom? Is yeah. this person safe versus that person? And how do you, what do you say to them? Most strangers are good, right? Most yeah. people are good, most strangers are kind, and teaching our kids that most people are good, but there are some tricky people. Good people will not ask you to do something that makes you uncomfortable. So my kids know that the good people will not ask you to get in their car. They won't want to give you food that they won't tell you that I've told them or told that person to do something. The good people just won't do that. So if somebody says hi and your body feels okay about that, you can say hi and keep going. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Age wise, I mean, is, does it greatly vary the, depending on kind of the age group that they're in and in how you talk to your children? Yeah, I like to um, developmentally, we want to keep it simple, right? And so if I give, um, true, simple answers, and a child is developmentally, re developmentally ready for more, they'll ask for more, right? So I kind of give a simple answer. Most people are good, some people are tricky. It's okay to walk away, it's okay to say no. Um, and then if they want to go deeper into that, they'll ask, and then I can respond. Mm -hmm. If they're going to be a reporter in the future. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. More and more. <laughs> Darcy yeah. of uh, Core Parenting, always nice to have yeah. you in. Thank Great. you.